<laughs> All right. Time for more brine shrimp. The little fellas are hungry. See them all swimming all throughout the gyre, all over the place. Can't really see those ones up there too well against that light background. But anyway, they're all doing well, ready to chow down. And this is a little update. Last night, if you recall, if you see my last video, I drilled this tank here. I filled it most of the way up with some of that peat moss water. You can see that the water's tinted a little kind of tannish. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of the parts fitted on there and get it tapped into this here wastewater line. Should be good. And as you see, I also went ahead and pulled this tank out last night and drilled it too. I didn't really clean it up yet. I will though before I put the fittings on there, but I've got to go buy some new fittings, three quarter inch fittings, because all I have are larger and smaller bulkheads in my little stash. So I have to go get some more three quarter inch. But Tyler, why are you doing three quarter inch instead of one inch? That's a good question, guys. Why? Because that's what I had. <laughs> far as drill bits go. Shout out to my good friend Sarah for letting me use her uh, glass cutting drill bit and I figured you know what three quarter inch is just fine so I ran with it man. Use what you got. Them drill bits can be kind of expensive especially when you have one at hand that you can use you know. Anyway I think I'll get back at it. Siphon out these here uh, brine shrimp and uh, get them little guys fed. They're like, what the heck is he sitting there talking about? He should be feeding us by now. Gee whiz. Yeah. All these guys want me to feed them right now. <laughs> All these guys follow me into the corner here. It's crazy how these guys will just follow you back and forth. Back and forth. You guys need to do a spawn soon here, these ancestors. That guy's too busy always guarding his little cave. Alright guys, I just put some brine shrimp in here with these angels, baby angels. I don't know. You can see them eating very well. They're darting all about trying to find them, trying to get at them. It's tough seeing them against that lighter background, but you get the hint. If you take, a, if you really look in there, you'll see them swimming around, hunting. Every now and then, you'll see them stop and peck at something. Well, that's something that they're pecking at are those little brine shrimp. And in a short while, they'll all have full little bellies. They look tinted, kind of orange. And that would be from all the little brine shrimp that they've consumed. Anyway, I guess that's it for today. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but for you guys that are interested in this kind of thing, I'm sure you love it. You see, I don't have that flow rate going too much on that air supply. I don't want them fighting a real strong current in there, but I do want to keep the gas exchange going well keep plenty of oxygen in the water for them I don't want them burning up all their <laughs> calories and nutrition that they consume just trying to be able to stay steady in the water and swim I want them to put that energy into growing and developing so hope you guys have a good day good day We'll have a good day when you feed us, man. Oh, man, I didn't forget about you guys. Here we go. Check it out. A little something for you guys. 
See all that brine shrimp going in there? Look against the dark background of that sponge, man. I just used a little baster and sprayed a bunch of brine shrimp in there for these guys to eat as well. Eh, I gotta mess with the autofocus on this here cam. Oh, there we go. No wonder my stuff was blurry. Anyway, there we go. See, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Remember guys, be safe.